Yo, check this out. The GM just told me that I've got a tag team match tonight. Don't hate on me, but I ask for you as my partner. Yo, yo, calmate. Chill, dog. Sorry about not asking you first, but the match is already made. See you in the ring. This capacity crowd is ready for the WWE to bring down the house. Michael Cole with Zazz at ringside. Oh man, Cole, I am so pumped up for tonight's show, I can't wait. These two superstars are just seconds away from locking up. I've been waiting to see this match all night long, and I don't think these guys are being disappointed. John Cena's verbal skills are second only to his in-ring abilities. His star is definitely on the rise. Whoa! That only is off. I can never get over how quick Rey Mysterio moves in that ring. It's like he's not even human sometimes. It's true what that guy said, Cole. The best defense is a good offense, and uh, we're seeing good offense right here tonight.
Yo, I was in a tag team match last week against the WWE Champion. And I gotta say, I wasn't impressed. I can say for a fact that in a pure wrestling contest, I'm the greatest superstar there is, and he knows it. Yo, you better watch your mouth. I can guarantee this won't be the last time I'm in the ring with you. And then we'll put your little theory to the test. Yo, I can't believe the stuff he was saying about you. I can't believe he believes it. Hey, I've got a match against him tonight. Wanna come down in the ring with me and check him out? Yo, chill. Don't hate on me. I was trying to do you a favor. that blatant interference. He's got no business being out here. Yo, somebody better tell this guy the match is over. You already won it. Good night, Irene. It looks like help is finally on the way. Look, I know you're upset, but the trainers are looking at Ray now, and there's nothing you can do. You still got a main event match tonight, so get ready. Good evening and welcome to Miami, Florida. Michael Cole and Taz in ringside for an unbelievable evening of WWE action. Hey, this Miami crowd is all fired up, Cole. They can't wait for the show to start, and neither can I. Can you believe how calm and confident these superstars look? Now that's all just head game, Cole. They're trying to psych each other out. Place you would punk the clown, Cole. At least he knows what it's like to wrestle a man. Oh, 
Oh, this definitely ain't ballet. You step between those ropes, you gotta expect it. certainly getting its money's worth tonight. That ain't exactly Queensberry rules, but then again, we ain't in Queensberry, wherever the hell that is. So far. This one has turned into a fight, pure and simple. at this it's the same disgraceful act we saw earlier hasn't he ever heard of a fair fight there's a championship at stake Cole and I for one can't say I blame him for doing everything it takes to weaken the champ Well, I'm glad to see you guys have recovered from last week. But I've got some bad news, champ. To get a certain rival of yours to sign with SmackDown, I had to promise him at least one title match of his choosing. He wants your title in an ultimate submission match at Judgment Day. Damn! An ultimate submission match. That's gonna be a tough one. Yo, you better dust off some submission moves, or you'll have to wrestle the whole match without tapping out at all. 
Don't worry, dog. You'll retain the belt in a draw or a DQ. Worry about the ultimate submission title match later. You've got your challenger and his buddy in a tornado tag team match tonight. Can he follow it up?
sustained with this match to the end with no commercial interruption. One, two, three. Have you ever seen such an incredible match? I'm amazed either of these superstars. If that's a preview of this Sunday, Cole, it's going to be out of sight. We are guaranteed to have a wild night this Sunday at Judgment Day. Ladies and gentlemen, we welcome you live on pay-per-view to WWE Judgment Day. No doubt about it, Cole. This night is going to be off the hook. Ultimate submission title match. Two men putting it all on the line for the gold. The superstar to score more submissions in this time limit wins. Only one of these guys is walking out the champion, Cole. I can't wait. This athlete claws way to the top, and now there's only one superstar left in his way, the champion. This is going to be intense. Rope break. John Cena calls himself a veteran, Cole. I don't know about that. I think I kind of disagree, but there's no doubt that he's the doctor of Thug Anonymous.
What an incredible match we've seen so far. They didn't exactly Queensberry rules, but then again, we ain't Queensberry, wherever the hell that is. see some submission moves. I love watching a guy tap out. like and it don't feel good. guys are so unpredictable. What's going to happen next? A move like that will make you wonder why you're in this business. anymore, Cole. I think this has become personal. Superstar 
Bucks hits their finishing move, it's over. like this, I am so proud to be part of this couple. This dominating superstar telling his opponent exactly what he thinks of it. You gotta figure Mr. McMahon's keeping a close eye on this matchup. Oh man, Cole, did you see that? This one has turned into a fight, pure and simple. see some submission moves. I love watching a guy tap out. A move like that will make you wonder why you're in this business. like and it don't feel good. match we've seen so far. Longer 
up, can they keep this up? This is completely off the hook. Another devastating move. These superstars are legit tough guys, no doubt about it. They didn't exactly Queensberry rules, but then again, we ain't in Queensberry, wherever the hell that is. that was. I think they shed blood, sweat, and tears here tonight, but in the end, a champion was decided. I don't think either one of these guys is feeling much like a winner after that match, but the championship gold can sure dull the pain. What an unbelievable match. What a way to end Judgment Day. Memphis, Tennessee, Michael Cole and Taz at ringside. Hey, we're bigger than Elvis tonight, Cole. This crowd can't wait. You know, Taz, we're not going to see anyone back down from tonight's challenge. I know, I know. I, I hope these guys have some good health insurance. They're going to need it.
I'll tell you, Cole, this is what the WWE is all about. Nice offensive maneuver, but does he have what it takes to follow up to stay on his opponent and wear him down? Yo, hey champ, what's up? Orale Holmes, if I was a champ, I'd be a little bit more careful with the title. You know, so it doesn't wind up in the wrong hands, I say. has gone crazy. He's completely paranoid about that title. Last week, we saw one of the most disgusting displays of unprofessionalism I've ever seen in all my days in sports entertainment. So right now, I want the WWE Champion to come down to the ring. I think I speak for every WWE fan when I say that what happened last week was unacceptable. Those two should have never put their hands on that title belt. And what you did to them was perfectly justified. That's a championship belt. No one touches that but the champ. 
and it's the champ's job to make sure of it. I gotta disagree with the GM, champ. I think you're afraid to let us get too close to that belt. Because you know either one of us can take it from you. Maybe it's time we see if either of you deserve to wear that belt. We're gonna have a non-title match tonight in this very ring. Which of those two do you want to take on, champ? Looks like the champ's made up his mind, but I wonder if he might regret his rash choice of actions last week. Hindsight's 2020, Michael Cole, but if the champ is smart, he ain't worried about last week. He's got enough problems coming up later tonight. Michael Cole and Taz at ringside, and wait until you hear what we got for you tonight. These fans are already going nuts, and the action hasn't even started yet. You know, tonight is going to be off the charts. Besides the win, what's on the line for these superstars in this match? One word, Cole, pride. Pride. A lot of pride on the line in this one. No one wants to be second best. Big thumbs up to the referee. He's done a hell of a job controlling this match. Love him for it. Oh, man, oh, you see that? Cole, can you believe this match so far? A move like that will make you wonder why you're in this business. You would punk the clown, Cole. At least he knows it's like the wrestling match. That ain't exactly Queensberry rules, but then again, we ain't in Queensberry, wherever the hell that is. Each of these 
competitors is looking for the slightest hint of weakness in the other. Eye in this matchup. It ain't exactly Queensberry rules, but then again, we ain't Queensberry, wherever the hell that is. You know, I was just looking at last week's ratings, and the highest rated segment of the show was the grudge match between the champ and his choice of opponents. So tonight, we're gonna have a non-title triple threat match between the champion and both opponents. And if the champ should not win tonight's triple threat match, then he'll defend his title against tonight's winner this Sunday at Vengeance.
What an incredible match we've seen so far. Superstars hits their finishing move, it's over. Oh man, <laughs> well I've said it before, this ain't ballet. try to do. Looks like you don't have a challenger for your big title match there, champion. You know, ever since you've had that championship title, you've been nuts. Someone's going to have to take that away from you for your own good. So I just came from the general manager's office, and since you won this triple threat match, it turns out, as you would expect, the new number one contender is Rob Van Dam. Can you believe it? 
We'll have a title match this Sunday at Vengeance after all. Vengeance is served, and WWE SmackDown is live on pay-per-view. Michael Cole and Taz at ringside, and what a show we've got tonight. No doubt about it, Cole. This is one rocket buster of a pay-per-view, and I can't wait to get started. The WWE title is on the line tonight. Will the champion be able to retain, or has his luck run out? Listen to that crowd. This is Michael Cole and Taz at ringside bringing you WWE action from Huntsville, Alabama. They're already going crazy, and the action hasn't even started yet. You know, tonight is going to be off the hook. This is the dream of every superstar in that locker room, to get a title shot against the champion in front of thousands and thousands of fans and millions watching around the world. Tell you what, Cole, I'm predicting that RVD is going to smoke this guy here tonight. Stars is just a quick three count away from victory or defeat. Stars have proven that they're willing and able to go the distance. Can they keep this up? Hey, you got to figure Mr. McMahon's keeping a close eye on this matchup. Another devastating move.
Anyone who thinks this business is a piece of cake should get in the ring with these guys. Watching these guys reminds me why I prefer to stay on this side of the announce table. Can he follow it up? One, two, three. I'll tell you what, that was a great match. I can't wait to see these guys mix it up. Champion emerges victorious. What a match. I'm telling you, Cole, I would have hate to follow that match. Incredible effort from both superstars. I know you all came out here to see the WWE Champion in action tonight, right? You want to see the champ put his title on the line? Because nothing gets a crowd more pumped up than seeing a title match, am I right? Well, tonight is your lucky night because the champ is going to face off against two other of this brand's top superstars in a steel cage. Unfortunately, I'm not sure that you all deserve to see an actual title match. So the belt will not be on the line. But hey, you can all pretend, right?
I'm glad you see things my way, champ. You've always brought class and sensibility to this show. on its feet, and tonight they're going to see WWE action like they've never seen it before. What? Are you going to actually get in the ring instead of just jabbering away in your headset phone? You think that these superstars' different styles gives one of them an advantage? Not necessarily. A little quick guy can move faster than a big, powerful guy. And a real math technician, you know, he can tie up a guy in nuts. He can't ever take anything for granted. I don't think this is about winning or losing anymore, Cole. I think this has become personal. There's no stopping him if he can capitalize on that one. There's no substitute for that kind of experience. Look at him going to work on his opponent. Stars are certainly giving it their all tonight. This one has turned into a fight, pure and simple. some submission moves. I love watching a guy tap out. 
WWE superstars continue to amaze their fans. Look at him going to work on his opponent. Excellent match so far, and it's not over yet. A perfectly executed move. Cole, I'll handle talking about what it feels like to be in the ring, and you give some tips on how to force somebody's head. Look at him going to work on his opponent. something left in the tank, they'll keep on fighting. Excellent match so far, and it's not over yet. 
opponent. One of them is going to get their hand raised when it's all over. I know what that feels like. It don't feel good. Time we see these superstars face off. I don't think either one of these guys is even considered that he might not win this match. Musk. 
Come down. everything to these two competitors. Oh, that one hurt no matter what you try to do. Stay on this side of the announce table. A move like that will make you wonder why you're in this business. Superstars hits their finishing move, it's over. Look at him going to work on his opponent. Watching these guys reminds me why I prefer to stay on this side of the announce table. tonight. see some submission moves. I love watching a guy tap out. Oh, that one hurt no matter what you try to do.
guy's gonna make Mr. McMahon a lot of cash. And the quickest way to the boss's heart is to the fly. These guys are gonna make Mr. McMahon a lot of cash, and the quickest way to the boss's heart is through his wallet. A great move, expertly applied. have left. A move like that will make you wonder why you're in this business. What a match. These superstars gave it their all here tonight, but I have to wonder if it was worth it. Kurt Angle refused to make that a title defense. Who are you to doubt Kurt Angle, Cole? He made a crafty move here tonight. He gave the fans a great match, but still has the title match as an ace in the hole for another time. I was just looking over the ratings last week's cage match, and they're through the roof. Raw didn't have anything that could touch them. Listen, champ. You're a big draws champion. You're my golden egg-laying goose. I'm not going to jeopardize that by risking your title. Now go and get ready. You're in the main event again tonight. Non-title match, naturally. I can't believe it. We've got a champion who doesn't want to risk his title and a general manager who agrees with him. The fans are not going to be happy with that, but the boss is the boss. Of that crowd, Michael Cole and Taz at ringside, and wait until you hear what we got for you tonight. These fans are already going nuts, and the action hasn't even started yet. You know, tonight is going to be off the charts. I got to tell you, Taz, I don't think that the outcome of this match is in doubt. Well, who the hell am I? I don't know who he is in experience, Cole. I mean, let me tell you, I think you're uh, you're in for a surprise.
Eddie Guerrero lies, cheats, and steals. It's a family tradition. Look at him going to work on his opponent. Superstars is just a quick three count away from victory or defeat. That ain't exactly Queensberry rules, but then again, we ain't in Queensberry, wherever the hell that is. So unpredictable. What's going to happen next? One. A move like that'll make you wonder why you're in this business. match. Even though it wasn't for the championship, you gotta hand it to these two guys. They went toe-to-toe -to -toe and left it in the ring. Maybe so, Taz, but how long can our GM continue to avoid putting the champ in a title defense? It's not fair to the rest of the roster, not to mention the fans. The ratings for your match last week were absolutely off the charts. I can't remember the last time I've seen ratings that high. Hey, I want to know what the deal is with the last two main events. Cage matches are career shortening matches, and you didn't even give me a title shot. Yeah, I don't usually give a damn what this guy thinks. But he's right. The belt should have been on the line in that cage. Look, I'm not going to get bullied into anything. This is my show. And you can either get out of my office or get out of the WWE. Well, I'm glad they're gone. Now, if you thought the last two main events were something, listen to this, champ. Tonight, I've booked you in a $10,000 triple threat ladder match challenge. Whoa, your title. What a kidder. Of course not. Now go get ready, champ.
Ladies and gentlemen, get ready for some WWE action. I'm Michael Cole here with Taz at ringside. Tonight's show is simply amazing. Absolutely, Cole. After tonight, these fans are never going to know what hit them. I got a bad feeling about this match, Taz. Thanks for yourself, Cole. I love it when these you know, guys just pound the hell out of each other. It's great. Crowd can't get enough of these guys. Booker T's a guy who obviously loves his job and loves to entertain the fans. It's great to see. Oh, that one hurt no matter what you try to do. side of the announce table. part about wrestling all the time is just getting your hands up. It's like a cat in that ring. these guys reminds me why I prefer to stay on this side of the announce table. Nice offensive maneuver. But does he have what it takes to follow up and stay on his opponent and wear him down? Fire 
Well, this match is so good, it's even worth having to sit next to you and watch it. A great move, expertly applied. for him, not only did he survive a ladder match, but he's also $10,000 richer for his trouble. Maybe so, but there's one thing money can't buy, and that's a championship. $10,000 is a heck of a distraction, but for my money, I'd rather see a title opportunity. Hey, I want a word with you, Holmes. Uh, okay. Orale, Holmes, after that match last week? That's right, I say. I deserve a title shot this Sunday at SummerSlam! Look, that's just not gonna happen. I... Yeah, well, so do I. Me too, doll. We put our bodies on the line for your ratings, and what do we have to show for it? Nothing! Yeah, why don't you tell me something? Where are your ratings gonna be if all of us decide we're done playing your games, huh? Okay, okay, calm down. I didn't realize you all felt so strongly about this. I just had a great idea. This Sunday at SummerSlam, we'll have a six-man elimination chamber match for the title. How's that sound? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to SummerSlam. Michael Cole here with Taz at ringside, and what a show we've got for you tonight. You ain't kidding, Cole. A six-man elimination chamber match for the WWE Championship. Six superstars trapped inside of 10 tons of unforgiving steel. Every 60 seconds, another superstar is released into the chamber. The last superstar left standing once everyone else has been eliminated is the champion. This ain't a match that favors the champ, Cole. If I were him, I'd be begging to enter six and hope the other five guys go home or uh, beat the hell out of each other or something. I can't believe I got pressured into doing this. An elimination chamber match for the title. There's no way you're walking out of there as the champ. 
You might not walk out, period. Big WWE welcome to all our fans. I'm Michael Cole with Taz at ringside. This sellout crowd can't wait for the show to start. Let me tell you, Cole, neither can I. We've watched this rivalry build for weeks, and tonight with the title on the line, these superstars are going to settle the score once and for all. guys are on the top of their game, but only one of them is going to get their hand raised when it's all over. They're willing and able to go the distance. It's like we used to say back in the day. Rules are like bones, made to be broken. Or will Big Evil add another superstar to the list tonight? match to the end with no commercial interruptions. Look at him going to work on his opponent. difference between these guys, Cole. Big Show always looks like he's wrestling midgets. Nice offensive maneuver. But does he have what it takes to follow up to stay on his opponent and wear him down? Ah, uh, never mind. I'm sure it means you 
awesome. Off balance. Oh, man, cool. See that? Story starting off is almost a lost cause, working his way up to be one of the greatest WWE superstars in the ring today. Look at him going to work on his opponent. the title and he beat five superstars in the elimination chamber to do it hey that was completely off the hook what a rocket bust the heck oh i've never seen such a hard-fought battle in my entire sports entertainment career me neither cole I've actually been in the ring, unlike you. <laughs> what a match. Well, champ, I hope you're feeling up to defending your belt, because I'm giving you a big title defense tonight.
Hey, if you're gonna wear that belt, you're gonna defend it when and where I tell you to defend it. Your match is next, and by the way, it's Mr. Angle to you. Kurt, you'd better get to the locker room. There's a referee out cold in there. Looks like he's got jumped. What? This is terrible. This is horrible. This is the worst thing that could have ever happened. Don't worry. I just called for an ambulance. They should be here any minute. I don't care about that. I mean, he was supposed to referee the title defense. Now what am I supposed to do? I'll do it. I swear, I'll call the match right down the middle. Look, there's no time to argue about this. Both of you get ready for the match. You're up next. Those two men nearly destroyed each other over that championship just the other day, and now one of them is supposed to referee this title match? Seems a little fishy to me, Cole, but Angle's made up his mind. is home to WWE action tonight. I'm Michael Cole here from Nazi Ringside, and what a show we've got for you. Absolutely, Cole. After tonight, Houston's never gonna know what hit it. Weeks of incredible victories and crushing defeats have brought us to this match tonight. Here with the whole world watching, two men compete for the ultimate prize in sports entertainment, the right to be called the very best. Continental, European, and tag team champion, and it's not hard to see why. They didn't exactly Queensberry rules, but then again, we ain't in Queensberry, wherever the hell that is. Hold it, hold everything. You almost got away with it, Mr. Referee. You almost put yourself in position to screw over the man who just recently beat you. But I just saw a security tape that showed it was in fact you who knocked our scheduled referee out cold right before you found him. So regardless of the way this match has turned out, I have no choice but to render this referee wannabe's decision as null and void. His decision does not count, and the match must go on. Since we still need a legitimate referee, I guess I'll just have to do it myself. Wait a minute, this match is over. We've already had the decision. 
Looks like he's restarting this match, Taz. I don't believe it. The decision's been reversed. So is the match over now or what? Or is it going to restart it again? The match is over, Taz, but I think the controversy is just beginning. I know there's some controversy at the end of last week's show, but there's a lot of people who are wondering, who's the WWE Champion? You see, it turns out that a special referee I appointed for the match was the one who knocked out the original referee. Once I found out what really happened, I made a beeline for the ring and threw the special referee out of the arena. In the interest of fairness, I nullified the decision and restarted the match. And as it happens, I had no choice but to reverse the original decision. I see your point but it sets a dangerous precedent if superstars attack and replace referees, and I allow the decisions to stand. Really, Holmes, everyone in the arena heard the restart bell. It's not my fault that you weren't paying attention when the match restarted. Hey, Holmes, I beat you fair and square, man. This title is mine, and it's going to stay mine. Hold on. Last time I checked, I was still the general manager of this brand. And you won the second decision, but you also quite clearly lost the first one. Give me a break. If either one of you deserved to wear that belt, you wouldn't be crying in the middle of the ring. I lost my last title match, but you don't hear me crying. I did something about it. Orelli Holmes, if you really want to do something about it, why don't you come down to this ring right now? Everybody shut up. Tonight, the three of you will face off in a non-title triple threat match to blow off some steam. I'm going to take everyone's input under advisement and give you my decision next week. It's going to be another week before we hear Kurt Angle's ruling on the championship. Another week? I don't think these three can wait another week.
I think I'm seeing double. These two guys have the same championship around their waist. They both think they're champion. I hate to say it, but until this is settled, they might both have a legitimate claim to the title. This capacity crowd is ready for the WWE to break down the half. Michael Cole is jazz at ringside. Oh, man, Cole, I am so pumped up for tonight's show, I can't wait. Hey, Taz, you've been an in-ring competitor. What goes through your mind in a time like this? Well, Cole, when you're championship material like me, you're focused on your opponent, and nothing else means nothing. Just your opponent. It's only a matter of time before he hits that frog splash. A great move, expertly applied. Yard and the Undertaker's the big dog that runs it. Oh, that one hurt no matter what you try to do. moves. I love watching a guy tap out. There's no stopping him if he can capitalize on that one. Oh, these athletes are putting on a clinic today. Stars have proven that they're willing and able to go the distance. That was a great move, no doubt. But if he can't follow up on it, it doesn't matter how many lucky shots he gets in. Reminds me why I prefer to stay on this side of the announcement. Rope break. How 
much can these superstars have left? like this, I am so proud to be part of this company. He knows what it's like to wrestle a match. A great move, expertly applied. Capacity crowd is certainly getting its money for tonight. Two, three. I can't believe what we just saw here tonight, Cole. There's no This is not about a title anymore, Cole. These guys just want to tear each other limb from limb. And there's no way that decision next week is going to make all three of them happy. I finally made a decision regarding the disputed title. We're gonna have a rematch of the original title match from two weeks ago. And to make sure that there's no controversy over the finish, I'm making it a last man standing match. You're making a rematch for the title? What about me? Where's my rematch? You blew your shot at a rematch when you attacked a WWE official two weeks ago. If you lay your hands on a referee tonight, you'll be suspended without pay. The fate of the disputed championship will be decided tonight in a last man standing match. This match is gonna take years off the careers of both of these guys, Cole.
gentlemen, welcome to SmackDown. Coming in tonight from Charlotte, North Carolina. Deep in the heart of flat country, Cole. This crowd is fired up and so am I. It all comes down to this. Two superstars, one title. Tonight, in front of this capacity crowd, two of the greatest athletes in the WWE compete for the ultimate prize. He lies, he cheats, he steals, and Eddie Guerrero's fans love him for it. These superstars are legit tough guys, no doubt about it. A great move, expertly applied. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. Watching nine. these guys reminds me. Oh man, Cole. Both of these superstars just went down like a ton of bricks. What happens now? I hope you're enjoying yourself in that ring, pal, because it's the last time you're going to be in one for a while. You're suspended until after No Mercy this Sunday. Now get the hell out of my ring. And to settle this title dispute once and for all, we're gonna have a ladder match at the pay-per-view to determine who the true champion is. A ladder match this Sunday at No Mercy for the title. If that don't settle who the champion is, I don't know what will. No Mercy is here. WWE SmackDown is coming to you live on pay-per-view. I'm Michael Cole here with Taz at ringside, and what a show we've got tonight. Hey, you said it, Cole. The WWE Championship will be decided tonight in a ladder match. Two men will enter the ring for a no-hold-barred contest. The first one to reach the championship hanging above the ring walks out of here as the champion. Hey, I'm smelling rocket buster coal. I can't wait. Ladies and 
gentlemen, welcome to sunny San Jose, California. You're not going to believe what we got for you tonight. No doubt, Cole, tonight's show us completely off the hook. These superstars have been building toward this match for weeks, and it all comes down to this match. Tonight, with the title on the line, one superstar's dreams will come true, while another's will be crushed. Yeah, there ain't no quitting either of these guys. They didn't exactly Queensberry rules, but then again, we ain't in Queensberry, wherever the hell that is. Both these guys are on the top of their game, but only one of them is gonna get their hand raised when it's all over. Can't believe it! What a match! Well, there's our undisputed champ, Cole. You can't say he didn't earn it. What the? What's that all about? I'd watch your back, pal. You're a marked man. How marked? Worth his, there's a hundred thousand dollar bounty on your head. Mr. McMahon, it is absolutely inexcusable that someone would put a price on my champion's head. If he can't compete, SmackDown loses ratings and revenue. A full investigation is underway, and I guarantee that we're going to figure out who put the price on your champion's head. In the meantime, I think it would be best for the champ to lay low for a few weeks until this settles down. What? But that... What I was going to say, uh, um, is that sounds like a great idea, Vince. Mr. McMahon. Big Show tonight, you've got a non-title match against a champion who we've just learned has a price on his head. Your thoughts? Just one, tonight. I might not walk out of here with a championship, but I'll sure as hell earn that hundred grand bounty.
And champ, when you're too beaten down to defend that title anymore, I'll be first in line for it. Ladies and gentlemen, get ready for some WWE action. I'm Michael Cole here with Taz at ringside. Tonight's show is simply amazing. Absolutely, Cole. After tonight, these fans are never going to know what hit them. Taz, you get the feeling that we're looking at a champion in the making? I was just going to say the same thing, Cole. One of these guys is going to go all the way off my work. These superstars are certainly giving it their all tonight. There's no stopping him if he can capitalize on that one. Go break. Big Show is focused on winning the match. He's pretty much unstoppable. They didn't exactly Queensberry rules, but then again, we ain't in Queensberry, whatever the hell that is. Superstars hits their finishing move, it's over. An incredible move. Can he follow it up? I hope we get to see some submission moves. I love watching a guy tap out. Look at him going to work on his opponent. Watching these guys reminds me why I prefer to stay on this side of the announce table. Oh, these grandkids are going to feel that. to the end with no commercial interruptions. Look at him going to work on his opponent. Like it or not, you gotta hand it to him. 
He was the better man. Two hired guns are fighting over the bounty. The champ isn't some animal. He's a human being, damn it. He's a mock man, Cole. I was thinking about trying to claim that bounty myself. He's definitely going to be a lot safer on Raw. Tonight, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to introduce the newest member of the Raw roster, SmackDown's own WWE Champion. I think you'll find we do things a little differently on Raw, and we're a little tougher than you're used to. For instance, here's something that your old general manager didn't have the guts to say. If anyone on this show tries to claim any kind of bounty tonight, they'll be fined $150,000 and suspended for a month. So go and get ready, champ, because tonight's main event is a non-title match between you and Christian. of all the Raw superstars, we welcome you to Monday Night Raw, and thank you folks for inviting us into your home. You'll be glad you did, folks. This is going to be one of the biggest Raws of all time. Mark my words. These guys just can't wait to get it on. I can't wait either. Let's get this show on the road. call him a CLB, JR, but Christian is one of the most successful superstars on the entire roster. success as a tag team wrestler, but JBL has truly shined in singles competition. And another shot. How much more can he take?
The ratings for your main event match last week were off the charts, and I can think of only one way to outdo it. Tonight's main event is a non-title match between you and Chris Jericho. And by the way, I'm granting you the honor of representing Eric Bischoff's Raw in a very special Survivor Series match this Sunday. After all, you can't defend your title on your own show, and if you're not in the pay-per-view, you won't get paid. Just sign the dotted line. Thanks, champ. Good luck out there tonight. Welcome to Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, the site of tonight's Raw event. And Pittsburgh has gone completely crazy for the superstars of Raw. And who can blame them? This one has the potential to turn ugly quick, B. That's right, JR. And winning is great, but it's hard to enjoy it from a hospital bed. These guys have done their homework on each other, JR. There's no way to keep that one from hurting. something like that. as cocky as they come, but he's not afraid to get physical either. Enjoyed. Pulls line. JBL on. 
Nash took his damn head off of that three. One. That was a hell of a match, champ, but now I've got something important to say. As you know, I've had my people trying to figure out who put the price on your head, and even I was shocked when they told me. You see, it was Eric Bischoff. He figured if it wasn't safe for you, you'd have to leave SmackDown, which would hurt SmackDown by taking one of their champions away. But I've since spoken to Kurt Angle, champ, and you're hereby returned to SmackDown with a title match this Sunday at Survivor Series. All right, I admit it, but Mr. McMahon, you're the last person who should criticize someone for being cutthroat. Would you have done any less to me before I came to work for you? You know, you have a point there. And it was worth it for this. A signed contract giving me the right to put that man right there in a match representing Raw this Sunday at Survivor Series. My God, he's right. He's got the contract. What's SmackDown going to do now, JR? Because this conflict requires a final resolution, here's what we're going to do. We're going to have a six-man Hell in a Cell match for the title. A cross-brand Hell in a Cell match this Sunday for the title. And bragging rights. Don't forget that, JR. Raw's gonna show SmackDown what real superstars are made of. Gentlemen, welcome to Survivor Series live on pay-per-view. Along with my broadcast partner, Taz, I'm Michael Cole. And what a spectacle this co-production of Raw and SmackDown is going to be. Ain't no doubt. SmackDown and Raw superstars trying to survive a Hell in a Cell match for the WWE title. This ought to be one for the ages. It's not every day that the SmackDown superstars find themselves in the ring against Raw superstars. You can literally feel the tension in the air. Just moments away from WWE action. I'm Michael Cole here with Taz and Ringside. I'll tell you something, Cole. I don't think these fans can wait another second. It's going to be a great show. Every time there's a bump on the line, Cole, I get chills. There's nothing more important than a title match. I've won a lot of titles in my day, and I've lost them too. I'll tell you, winning is a hell of a lot better than losing. When that 
see a match like this, I am so proud to be part of this couple. Whoa, what a move. on his opponent. guys. An incredible move. Can he follow it up? SmackDown. This is a Survivor Series to remember. Ladies and gentlemen, we are less than four weeks away from the Royal Rumble, a co-production of Raw and SmackDown. And I've decided that this champion right here will defend his WWE belt at the pay-per-view. Now champ, I'm putting you in a non-title single match tonight to make sure that you're in shape for
Whoa, 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 whoa. I have got a problem with you calling this title his championship. Everyone knows he couldn't beat me in a one-on-one. -on -one. I deserve the title shot for his belt at the Royal Rumble. Listen, I run the show around here, pal, not you. If you want a title shot, you have to earn it like every other guy in the locker room. You know what, Angle? You're full of it, Holmes. You can't get away with ignoring a superstar like me. You'd better remember that SmackDown, it isn't the only brand in town. SmackDown isn't the only brand in town? What did he mean by that? I don't know, Cole, but I doubt it's anything good. Good evening and welcome to Miami, Florida. Michael Cole and Taz at ringside for an unbelievable evening of WWE action. Hey, this Miami crowd is all fired up, Cole. They can't wait for the show to start, and neither can I. Taz, you get the feeling that we're looking at a champion in the making? I was just going to say the same thing, Cole. One of these guys is going to go all the way, mark my words. Stars have proven that they're willing and able to go the distance. They didn't exactly Queensberry rules, but then again, we ain't in Queensberry, wherever the hell that is. As long as they got something left in the tank, they'll keep on fighting. One, two, three. That's it. It's over. I think the fans wanted to see it go a little bit longer. Yeah, Holmes, I said my piece tonight, but I could really use a hand next week. That's right, I say, like we talked about before. Orale, Holmes, so I can count on you for some help next week, huh? Great. Thanks a lot, Holmes. I really appreciate it. What the? Is he actually asking Eric Bischoff for help? Nah, that can't be a call. There's got to be another explanation. Well, I hope you've got one, Taz, because I don't.
Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to WWE SmackDown. I'm Michael Cole here with Taz at ringside, and what a start we've got tonight, Taz. No doubt about it. We're going to find out who the number one contender will be for the WWE Championship at the Royal Rumble. And that match is about to begin right now. That's Shawn Michaels. What the hell is the Heartbreak Kid doing on SmackDown? The ref never saw the low blow. How could this have happened? I've got a better question for you. Why would a Raw superstar interfere in a SmackDown title hunt? What was that all about, Bischoff? Why did one of your superstars just interfere in one of my matches? Well, you see, Kurt, you haven't done such a good job of keeping your superstars happy. And one of your unhappiest superstars is the man who just won the last match. Now, we both know that his contract is up right after WrestleMania, and he's your new number one contender. So just imagine if he won the WWE Championship, retained it at WrestleMania, and then signed with me? My ratings would go through the roof when he showed up on my show and dropped your piece of trash title in the garbage where it belongs. He thinks he's pretty smart, but he made a dumb mistake by sending one of his top guys to mess with me. Shawn Michaels must be on his way out of the building right about now. But he's on my show this week, so I'm putting him in a match right now. A hardcore match. Grab a referee and take him out. Good evening and welcome to yet another sold out WWE event. I'm Michael Cole here with Taz at ringside and we got a hell of a show for you. Absolutely Cole, every WWE show is bigger and better than the ones that came before it, but tonight's show is going to be the biggest of all. Both of these superstars have been climbing the ranks and leaving a trail of bodies in their wake. Without a doubt Cole, and both these guys know that there's only room for one at the top. I know the heartbreak kid ain't no stranger to controversy, but I kind of like that about him. You gotta do what it takes to keep the spot. Cole, I'd love to know how you come up with this stuff. Because it ain't from getting in the ring. Oh. 
One, two, three. He gave it his all, but his all just wasn't good enough. I'm Let that be a lesson to Eric Bischoff. Don't mess with SmackDown. I know a lot of you were upset with what happened during last week's number one contender match. Well, I spoke with Mr. McMahon earlier today and asked him, in the interest of fairness, to get a little revenge on Raw right here on SmackDown tonight. As payback for last week's interference, Mr. McMahon has given me permission to put not one, but two Raw superstars in a match tonight. So I'm putting them in a tag team tables match tonight against the superstar of my choice. And his partner, who will be none other than SmackDown's own WWE Champion. And as for our backstabbing number one contender, well, I've given him the night off. I don't want him getting anywhere near the champ until this Sunday at the Royal Rumble. Hey, this is awesome, Cole. SmackDown's gonna get some payback on Raw right here tonight. Hey champ, since our GM chose to partner us up, I wanted to talk to you about something before our match tonight. I want you to know that I can't wait to put those raw punks through a table. I'm glad that I've got the WWE champ as my partner. But when it's all said and done, I want you to know that I'm coming for that title of yours. And I'm gonna do it the right way, face to face, man to man. Good evening and welcome to Miami, Florida. Michael Cole and Taz at ringside for an unbelievable evening of WWE action. Hey, this Miami crowd is all fired up, Cole. They can't wait for the show to start and neither can I. These two superstars are just seconds away from locking up. I've been waiting to see this match all night long. And I don't think these guys are going to disappoint us. Superstars are legit tough guys, no doubt about it. Whoa! That'll leave a mark. Michaels is one of the greatest
greatest WWE champions of all time. Period. This guy is one of a kind. That's exactly what he's got to do if he wants to win this match. Superstars just sent a message to Eric Bischoff. The Royal Rumble title match this Sunday isn't just a match. It's going to be a war to settle a score between SmackDown and Raw. Welcome to this live pay-per-view event and a joint promotion of Raw and SmackDown. And what a show it's going to be, folks. I'm Michael Cole here with my broadcast partner, Taz. This one's going to be off the hook. 30 superstars in the ring, fighting it out to see who gets a title shot before WrestleMania. And speaking of title opportunities, there's going to be another great main event tonight. You got that right, Taz. I'm looking forward to tonight's WWE title match. There are rumors that if the number one contender wins the title, he's going to jump the Raw and take the title with him. Hey, all's fair in love and war, and like it or not, SmackDown and Raw are at war. And I know SmackDown is going to win. this at all but if nothing else the challenger is displaying some crafty strategy here tonight
Jazz here at ringside welcoming you to another exciting evening of WWE action. I can't remember the last time I heard a crowd this fired up, Cole. They know tonight's show is going to be great. Your heart's got to go out to this challenger, Cole. He busted his ass to make it to the big dance, and he's just a quick three count away from fulfilling the dream of every superstar in the locker room. I gotta tell you, Cole, I got no idea how this one's gonna end. They didn't exactly Queensberry rules, but then again, we ain't Queensberry, wherever the hell that is. Turn into a fight, pure and simple. There's no stopping him if he can capitalize on that one. try to do. Well, I don't want this match to end. They didn't exactly Queensberry rules, but then again, we ain't Queensberry, wherever the hell that is. and what an incredible champion. He went into the Royal Rumble as the champ, and he came out of it as the champ. you got to love it, Cole. He had a lot of stuff going against him here when he showed up tonight, but he's going home with the championship, and that's all that matters.
Ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, it is my great honor to present the winner of the Royal Rumble. He defeated 29 other superstars to earn a shot at the WWE title. As the winner of the Royal Rumble match, you are entitled to a WWE title match in three weeks' time at No Way Out. That's right. And let me tell you something. I'm going to get in the ring with that joke of a champ. I'm going to tear him apart. I'm walking out with his title. The challenger certainly seems ready. For his sake, I hope the champion is as well. Listen, I know that you and I haven't always been able to see eye to eye, but I just wanted to tell you that in my opinion, you're going to go down in the books as one of the greatest champions ever. That guy may have won the Royal Rumble, but he's still full of crap and everybody knows it. I can't wait to see you take him down in a few weeks. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to sunny San Jose, California. You're not going to believe what we got for you tonight. No doubt, Cole, tonight's show is completely off the hook. Both of these superstars will be climbing the ranks and leaving a trail of bodies in their wake. Without a doubt, Cole, both these guys know that there's only room for one at the top. Crowd can't get enough of these guys. They didn't exactly Queensberry rules, but then again, we ain't in Queensberry, wherever the hell that is. staying with this match to the end with no commercial interruptions. Whoa! That'll leave a mark. talking about what it feels like to be in the ring and you give some tips on how to force somebody's hair. is going to get their hand raised when it's all over. They didn't exactly Queensberry rules, but then again, we ain't Queensberry, wherever the hell that is.
Moves. I love watching a guy tap out. so far. like this, I am so proud to be part of this game. One, two, three. I gotta admit, that's a hell of a match. Listen to the crowd, they're going nuts. They some medical help over here what the he's been attacked looks like someone punched his ticket wonder if this has anything to do with the way he was shooting off his mouth earlier tonight I've been better, but I'm feeling a lot better than I was at the end of last week's show. Yeah, it was your pal, the Rumble winner. Look, the general manager put me in a match with him tonight, and I'd appreciate it if you'd be the special guest referee and watch my back, because I don't want him pulling any more of his dirty tricks. I couldn't ask for anyone better to watch my back. The champion will be the special referee tonight in a match involving the number one contender. Seems like a conflict of interest to me, Cole. I hope that general manager Kurt Angle knows what he's doing.
Michael Cole and Taz here at ringside welcoming you to another exciting evening of WWE action. I can't remember the last time I heard a crowd this fired up, Cole. They know tonight's show is going to be great. You think that these superstars' different styles gives one of them an advantage? Not necessarily. A little quick guy can move faster than a big cowboy. And a real math tactician, you know, he can tie up a guy in nuts. You can't ever take anything for granted. If one of these superstars hits their finishing move, it's over. Whoa! That'll leave a bump. Shows one big, ugly, angry dude, and I feel sorry for anyone who gets in the ring. With they didn't exactly Queensberry rules, but then again, we ain't Queensberry, wherever the hell that is. Cena's verbal skills are second only to his in-ring abilities. His star is definitely on the rise. One, two. Can't get enough of these guys. Oh, that one hurt no matter what you try to do. One, two. A kick should get in the ring with these guys. He could be getting a little overconfident here.
watch it. and I'd bet anything that they faked last week's assault as well. You know, a lot of people are wondering why I did what I did last week. Well, the simple fact of the matter is, everything I've said over the past few weeks is true. Now, I said the WWE Champion is going to go down in history as one of the greatest champs of all time. Because it's true. So if he goes to WrestleMania as the champion and wins, people might start to say that he's an even greater WWE superstar than me. They might start to forget about all I've done. And I'm not just going to let that happen. And don't worry about that. It's not going to happen. He is not going to win at WrestleMania. See, the problem with that punk is he believes his own hype. He thinks he is the greatest wrestler to ever set foot in the WWE ring. His ego is totally out of control. And he doesn't realize all the boys in the back and all these fans want to see him lose that title and get the beating of his life. Challenge has been accepted. There's a lot of bad blood here tonight, Cole. And I wouldn't be surprised if we saw it flowing by the end of the night. like he didn't have the nerve to come out here alone.
A big Southern California welcome to all our WWE fans. I'm Michael Cole with Taz ringside in San Diego. Yeah, big shout out to all our fans in the 619 area code. This sellout crowd can't wait for the show to start. The referee's gonna have his hands full with these guys. No doubt, Cole, this one's gonna be a rocket buster. And I can say that because I trademarked it. Victory means everything to these two competitors. Look at him going to work on his opponent. to these two competitors. An incredible move. Can he follow it up? some tips on how to force somebody's hair. One, two. These guys are gonna make Mr. Man a wad of cash. And the quickest way to the boss is hot it was wild. Look at him going to work on his opponent. Victory means everything to these two competitors. One, two. An incredible move. Can he follow it up? One, two, three. An incredible finish to an incredible match. The 
champion is beating the hell out of his opponent, and the number one contender doesn't have the guts to get in there and stop it. I'll tell you, this Sunday's WWE title match at No Way Out is going to be off the chain. Down, live on pay-per-view. I'm Michael Cole here with Taz at ringside. And Taz, could you imagine a bigger main event than the one we've got tonight? No way, Cole. A WWE title match here at No Way Out doesn't get any bigger than that. What the heck is Eric Bischoff doing here? This isn't Raw. I know you're all wondering, why am I here? So I'll get right to the point. WrestleMania is one month away. And so I'm proposing we make it the biggest WrestleMania ever. I'm proposing that in the main event, for the first time ever at WrestleMania, a unification match for the WWE and World Heavyweight titles. Both brands champions compete in one match to prove which brand is the dominant brand in sports entertainment. So what do you say, Kurt Angle? Have you got the guts to put your title on the line? Have I got the guts? Look at my career up to this point. I'm an Olympic gold medalist. And that history will continue to be written, beginning at WrestleMania. Of course I accept. The WWE and World Heavyweight titles will be unified at WrestleMania, Taz. I can't believe it. Just when I thought tonight's show couldn't get any bigger, this happens. It's totally off the hook. I'm sorry to interrupt, but uh, I've been meaning to say hi to you for a while. It's just kind of tricky to do when you're not on the same show. But I watch SmackDown every week, and I've got to say, you're incredible. I asked Eric Bischoff to bring me along tonight just so that I could meet you. I really like what I've seen of your show so far. I'd love to be on it, you know, so I can get to know you better. Trish, there you are. Come on, it's time to go. What are you doing wasting your time with this jerk anyway? Come on, Trish, we're leaving. See you around, champ. Did you see that, Cole? We almost got a sneak preview of WrestleMania right here. Capacity crowd is ready for the WWE to bring down the house. Michael Cole with Taz at ringside. Oh man, Cole, I am so pumped up for tonight's show, I can't wait. We've watched this athlete close one of the top 
And now there's only one superstar left in his way, the champion. This is going to be intense. John Cena calls himself a veteran, Cole. I don't know about that. I think I kind of disagree, but there's no doubt that he's the doctor of Doug means everything to these two competitors. One, two, three. I can't remember the last time I've seen a match like that one. I'm sure these... Championship. What an incredible champion. He's on his way to WrestleMania, and he's going to face the World Heavyweight Champion in a unification match. I can't wait to see what's going to happen between now and then. The road to WrestleMania is never a smooth one, Taz, and I predict that this year's won't be any different. We're just a few short weeks away from the greatest spectacle in all of sports entertainment, WrestleMania. I'm Michael Cole, here with Taz at ringside, and we welcome you to WWE SmackDown. You know, Cole, there's already so many incredible matches being made for WrestleMania, but the one I'm really looking forward to is the main event. WWE Champ versus World Heavyweight Champ in a title unification match. You're absolutely right, Taz. It's the return of the undisputed title at WrestleMania. And the two greatest WWE superstars in the company today will battle for it. And you know that it's going to be a SmackDown's own WWE champ who's going to win it and prove that SmackDown is the dominant brand of sports entertainment. You know, I'm sick of all this blind loyalty to SmackDown, and say, and all you people are just sheep. Kurt Angle has done nothing but screw me over for months. 
Everyone knows that I should be wearing the WWE Championship around my waist right now. You know, I'm getting a little sick of all your whining and complaining. I don't have a lot of love for our WWE champ, but he's representing SmackDown and WrestleMania, so maybe you should show him a little team spirit. Of course, that's assuming that the rumors aren't true, and you're not planning on jumping to Raw after WrestleMania. I'll do whatever it takes to make sure that our brand comes out on top. The best way to do that would be for our general manager to give me a title shot right here tonight so I can go on to WrestleMania as a champ and win the title unification match. Some strong words there from the WWE Champion. Hold it, hold it, hold it. What do you think you're doing? We're less than four weeks away from WrestleMania. We need a little brand unity here, guys. We can't afford a title feud now. But I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. You guys obviously have some issues to settle. And the champ needs to keep off the ring rust. So I'll make a non-title, triple threat match tonight between the three of you. And that match is next. Did you hear that? We're still four weeks from WrestleMania, but we're going to see all three of these superstars battling it out in the ring tonight. I'd watch my back tonight if I was the champ. Smackdown coming in tonight from Atlanta, Georgia. Hot man is on fire tonight, Cole, and I'm just as pumped up as the sellout crowd. Both of these superstars have been climbing the ranks and leaving a trail of bodies in their wake. Without a doubt, Cole, and both these guys know that there's only room for one at the top. I think this is about winning or losing anymore, Cole. I think this has become personal. Whoa! That was a ball. When Big Show is focused on winning a match, he's pretty much unstoppable. He's really displaying some incredible offense in this matchup. Another devastating. 
devastating move. a decisive victory for a superstar who has a tremendous future. What the? Those are raw superstars. What are they doing here? It looks like they're trying to take out the WWE Champion before WrestleMania. Hey, Holmes. What do you think you're doing? It's a good thing he showed up. I can't believe it. He's completely turned his back on SmackDown. This is not good, Cole. This is not good at all. You sure you're okay? That was a hell of a beating you took last week. I can't believe you'd be stupid enough to let yourself get ambushed a few weeks before the biggest match of your life. Well, I should warn you that there are raw guys here again tonight. And they're looking for you. They're on their way to the ring right now. It sounds like a stupid idea to me. I'm coming with you. Me too. You know, I can't believe how easy it was for you guys to ambush the WWE Champion last week. Not only did no one come out to help him, one of his fellow SmackDown superstars helped you set him up. If that's what passes for brand loyalty here, I guess we know who's going home after WrestleMania with the undisputed title. Is that so? Well, champ, which one of us do you want to take on? Take your pick. The WWE Champion has just challenged all three Raw superstars to a six-man tag team match. 
I'm not sure if it's such a good idea, Cole. On the other hand, it beats getting ambushed from behind backstage. guys are so unpredictable what's going to happen next rope break he's just punishing them now Cole. Destruction under his belt, and there's no substitute for that kind of experience. WrestleMania we just saw there, Taz. Yeah, Cole, but I gotta wonder if it'll be a different story when the champions have to face each other one-on-one. -on -one. Eric Bischoff. What's he doing here? 
I've got a proposition for Kurt Angle regarding the World Heavyweight title, WWE title unification match this Sunday at WrestleMania. A match as big as this should be an epic battle between two of the greatest WWE superstars of all time. And that's why we want to make it a Hell in the Cell match. I'm sorry, but we don't think that a Hell in a Cell match will do for the title unification. What? Is the WWE Champion afraid to meet the World Heavyweight Champion in Hell in a Cell? No, just the opposite. He thinks it isn't enough. We want to make it a three stages of Hell match. First match, a no disqualification single match. Second match, a first blood match. Third match, a hell in a cell match. Now, nothing's set in stone yet. We can always change that if your champion is afraid to... He's not afraid of anything. You've got your three stages of hell match, and I hope you choke on it this Sunday. Taz, I can't believe it. A three stages of hell match for the undisputed title this Sunday at WrestleMania. I'll be surprised if either champion survives that match. I want you two to act as special enforcers tonight. Make sure that no one from Raw gets into the building to attack the champ. Wait a minute. Are we sure that we can trust him? He did attack the champ from behind just a few weeks ago. Hold on there, pal. I'm not making any apologies or excuses for what I did, and I couldn't really give a damn about you or the champ. I respect the championship, and I respect this brand. If you've got a problem with me, we can settle it in the ring after WrestleMania. But right now, like it or not, we've all got to stick together. I'm glad that's settled. Now, champ, you've got to be prepared physically and mentally for the match at WrestleMania. So I've made a special non-title parking lot brawl match for you tonight. Get ready and stay sharp, guys. Capacity crowd is ready for the WWE to bring down the house. Michael Cole with Taz at ringside. Oh man, Cole, I am so pumped up for tonight's show, I can't wait. This capacity crowd can't wait to see these superstars get it on. Yeah, it's great having a fancy video and some cool music and lots of pyro, but it's what you do in the ring that counts.
pride in the hearts of these two great competitors has got to be all that's keeping them going. Sellout crowd can't get enough of these guys. Come on, ref, bring the damn bell. You can't let him get away with that. guys are on the top of their game, but only one of them is going to get their hand raised when it's all over. These guys reminds me why I prefer to stay on this side of the announce table. One, two, three. That's a tough play losing that match, but he obviously didn't have what it takes. He did it. The champion is ready for this Sunday. He's going to bring the undisputed title home to SmackDown. This guy's incredible. There ain't a superstar on the Raw roster who can hold a candle to him. Would you look at that, Taz? I don't think the SmackDown superstars have ever been more focused or unified than they are right now. It's great to see, Cole, especially with so much on the line this Sunday at WrestleMania. Welcome to the granddaddy of them all, WrestleMania, the showcase of the immortals. Michael Cole here with my broadcast partner, Taz, coming to you live on pay-per-view. They don't get any bigger than this one, Cole. WrestleMania is the pinnacle of sports entertainment, and it is really where it all begins again. After the dust settles tonight, the WWE is never going to be the same. Can you believe the main event? A unification match for the World Heavyweight and WWE titles. The SmackDown and Raw champions will put their titles on the line to prove that theirs is the superior brand in sports entertainment. And it's not just one match, but a three stages of hell match. First, a no disqualification match. Then, first blood match. And if necessary, a deadly hell in a cell match. Whoever wins two falls wins the undisputed title. You know, Taz, I don't think SmackDown has anything to worry about tonight. 
I spoke to the WWE Champion earlier today, and he's in the best shape of his life. Tonight we will all witness what will go down as a landmark match in WWE history. A three stages of hell championship match at WrestleMania. And to ensure that this match is treated with the respect that it deserves, I vow to personally fire any superstar who interferes with the match or the participants. Likewise, if any physical altercation should take place before the match between the participants, the instigating superstar will be fired. Mr. McMahon is all business tonight. He is not fooling around. As well he shouldn't. This might be the most important match of all time. You are just moments away from the biggest match of your life. Champ, I got to ask you, how are you feeling? I'm sorry to hear that, because that's exactly what I'm going for. And that means you're in for a very disappointing evening. May the best man win. City, Denver, Colorado, home to the WWE tonight, and what a show we got for you. Without a doubt, Cole, it's going to be off the charts. Every time there's a belt on the line, Cole, I get chills. There's nothing more important than a title match. I've won a lot of titles in my day, and I've lost them too. Winning them is a hell of a lot better than losing. is what they call a blue chipper, a can't-miss prospect. This guy, third-generation superstar, big-time future. A great move, expertly applied. Tell you, Cole, I got no idea how this was gonna end. Cole, 
I think this has become personal. champion has unified the belts. He's now the undisputed champion. And I guess that makes SmackDown the dominant brand in sports entertainment. Cut the music, cut the music. I don't care if this is WrestleMania. Hold on just a second. Look, after what I just saw happen in this ring, I, I have a confession to make. I mean, I think I've had you all wrong. I doubted your courage. I doubted your ability. And I even doubted your, your testicular fortitude. I mean, you're the undisputed champion. I guess what I'm trying to say is that I apologize. I'm sorry. And to make it up to you, I, Eric Bischoff, would like to extend to you a personal invitation to join my show and defend your championship on Raw. What do you say, champ? believe what I'm hearing. Yes, he's the undisputed champ, but he, he SmackDown's undisputed champ. He can't jump shit now. Could Bischoff get any more treacherous? Don't go, champ. Don't go. Music, cut the music! Now what? Wait! It's Mr. McMahon! He must be coming down here to congratulate the champion on unifying the titles. This is history, Cole. overwhelming accomplishment you've achieved tonight and what a way to end Wrestlemania you must be very proud of yourself and the truth is you should be today you stand on the highest pinnacle that there's ever been in this great business well actually let me correct myself today you stand on the second highest pinnacle you see you have indeed won your championship match at Wrestlemania and I believe you are the number one superstar in sports entertainment today and though congratulations are definitely in order for these accomplishments, I need to remind you of just one thing you're not, and that's the boss. Yes, you may indeed be a great champion today, but Vincent Kennedy McMahon will always be the boss, 
You'll do well to remember that, by the way. So keeping that in mind, do you have anything to say to your adoring public? Oh my God, he can't do that. He just attacked Mr. McMahon. He just attacked the boss. He can't do that, can he? I guess from now on, we'll have to see who the boss really is. Here at the close of WrestleMania, Mr. McMahon may have finally met his match. 